China's exports and imports missed forecasts by wide margins in March. Customs data out Friday showed exports contracted sharply, while imports also unexpectedly shrank. Overseas shipments were down 7.5% on the year last month. That was the biggest fall since August and way worse than analyst forecasts of a 2.3% decline. The nation's exporters endured a tough period for much of last year due to soft overseas demand and high interest rates around the world. Imports for March declined 1.9% year-on-year from 3.5% growth in the first two months, again missing forecasts. The imports figure showed sluggish domestic demand conditions. March soybean imports fell to their lowest in four years, while crude oil imports slipped 6%. China's economy got off to quite a solid start this year. It was driven by policymakers rolling out support measures to revive household consumption, private investment and market confidence. But growth in the Asian giant remains uneven and analysts don't expect a full-blown revival anytime soon. They blame that mainly on a long-running crisis in the country's property sector. Last month, China set a four-year growth target of around 5%, but analysts have described this as ambitious. A stream of people from Myanmar continued to cross over to Thailand early on Friday, a day after the strategic town of Miawadi fell to anti-junta resistance that is growing in strength. The adjoining Thai city of Mae Su has seen almost 4,000 cross the border daily, a doubling of usual numbers as fighting in Myanmar intensifies. Those escaping fear junta airstrikes. I am afraid I feel safer on this side of the border. They can't bomb Thailand. The loss of Miawadi robs the junta of vital earnings and trade, while strengthening rebel groups such as the Karin National Union, analysts say. Junta spokesperson Zha Min Tun told Myanmar media some troops surrendered because they were accompanied by their families and talks with Thailand for their return were in progress. Thailand says it is keeping neutral in the conflict but can accept up to 100,000 people displaced by it. Foreign Minister Pampri Bahira Nukara visited Mae Su across from Miawadi on Friday and said Thailand has sent messages to Myanmar's junta to reduce violence. He says Thailand is also working on a stalled peace plan for Myanmar with members of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. Myanmar's powerful military deposed an elected civilian government in 2021, triggering widespread protests it sought to crush with brutal force. A nationwide armed resistance movement is now operating with ethnic rebel groups to challenge the military across the Southeast Asian nation. Stephanie Brander is one of the more than 2,000 women over 64 who won a court case against Switzerland after they took their country to court over its climate inaction. Europe's top human rights court in Strasbourg ruled on Tuesday that the Swiss government had violated the rights of its citizens by failing to do enough to combat global warming. We weren't taken very seriously by the authorities. That's what the verdict of the court shows. I think that was the big mistake. Known in German as Klima Signorinen, the Swiss women who initiated the case said their government's inaction put them at risk of dying during heat waves. They argued their age and gender made them particularly vulnerable and demanded that Switzerland design its climate policy in a way that would limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. We can say for 2050 that we want to be a carbon-free country. OK, but how? Who's controlling and correcting this? There are questions that need to be put on the table now, and that's what we want. We will keep an eye on this. We will stay mobilised. We will ensure that measures are taken. The Swiss Federal Office of Justice said it would analyse the ruling to determine measures needed. Switzerland is warming at more than twice the global rate and its glaciers are melting rapidly. In 2021, Bern outlined the plan to make deeper emission cuts but voters rebuffed it because it was viewed as too burdensome. In a country where women were granted the right to vote in 1971, much later than most other European countries, Brander pointed to lingering attitudes about older women. 
Older women are made to look after little children, to knit, etc. This is a very deeply rooted cliché in the Swiss mentality. It's not a coincidence that we waited so long to obtain our civil rights. Uh, 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 uh,